Now, WordPress plugins that open up lots of little options and tweak the admin interface are not something that's new. In the past, we would have used code snippets, customized things, or used lots of little plugins to do things like content orders, hiding things in your admin menu, and so on. However, there are other tools out there that do all of this in one interface. A very popular one is ASE or Admin and Site Enhancements. Now I'll cover this in several videos where we took a look at the free version and the pro or premium version of what it offers and it's a great plugin. However, there was one released quite some time before ASE. However, it has laid dormant for quite some time. That plugin is WP Extended, and that's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. Now you may ask in, well, why are we looking at it if it's been laying dormant? Well, because there's a big push to actually move this plugin forward. Now, one of the other things that's kind of exciting is that I've been speaking to the team behind it, and they've also taken on another developer who I know, I'm not gonna say who it is at this point in time, but they are really keen to push this project forward and open up a lot more possibilities. And I've got a lot of excitement for where this is going to go. So I just wanna quickly go over the free and the premium version so you can see where it is. Now this isn't a competition, one is better than the other or anything like that. This is an alternative tool that's been around for quite some time and I'm just excited to see where it's gonna go if they can integrate some of the things that I've been listening to them actually talking about and some of the input that I've had. Anyway, let's take a look. First of all, there is a totally free version, and that's what we're gonna look at first of all. You can just go to the repository, link in the description, and just click download and download it. You can also take a look at the live stream that was done on the admin bar very, very recently, and you can actually see there's my video from a long, long time ago. Anyway, I've already installed this. Let's take a look. As you can see, I've only got the free version activated. We'll look at the pro later. Let's go into WP Extended. So what this does is this allows us to customize and add extra features into the dashboard of WordPress. This is great if you hand this off to a client and you want to control what they can see in the navigation options, give them extra little things. You want to add your own code snippets in. Lots of useful little use cases. The thing worth noting at this point in time, and this may change in the future with any of the tools like this, they're not generally going to be as powerful as a dedicated plugin to do certain things. So for example, code snippets. If you want a simplistic code snippet plugin, this is going to do the job for you. However, if you want more functionality, you may need to look at dedicated plugins that bring more to the table. But for most use cases and for most users, there's probably going to be more than enough inside these kind of tools. Now, the one thing I do like about this straight away, straight off the bat, is this just looks clean and pro. ASE, while a good plugin, really could do with some UI UX enhancements to make it just a little bit more polished, but that doesn't take away from the functionality. But like from a visual point of view, which is something that I'm really interested in, this just looks nice and clean and pro. Okay, so what do we have? We've got modules, we've got settings, and we've got tools. Pretty much everything you're going to want to do is underneath the module section. And you can see there's the various different modules available inside the free version at this point in time. However, jumping to the settings, you can see we can do things like, one of the things I really like, delete all plugin data upon removal. I can see display modules in a sub menu. So if you want to activate that, you can do that. You can see we can choose what we want to include in there. Tools, this is basically if you want to export or import the settings, great if you've got multiple sites and you want the same setup on all of them. If you're not using a blueprint, you can simply use this and export the settings wherever you want to. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. Under the module section, we've got all the modules here, but let's go into the utilities to start off with so we can kind of break these down a little bit. Security, utilities, you kind of get the idea. Some things are still in beta, so you can see the code snippets is still a beta feature and the documentation is there should you want to read any of the information. And again, it's nice and clean and everything you need is available in the documentation. When you want to enable something, all you need to do is check that. You don't need to even save anything. It's automatically done through Ajax. And then you can jump into configuration if there's one available for that particular function. So we're going to come into configure. You can see we don't have any code snippets set up yet. Get started. We can choose from three different options. I'd love to see SESS included in here. And hopefully I've suggested that. And maybe this is something that will be made into the future. But if you want to add anything in, add your PHP, get started, and there we go. We've now got a code snippet feature enabled, simple as that. And as you can see, it has the basics that you need. It doesn't have a lot of the niceties you may have in a dedicated plugin, but that's fine. Not everybody needs all those extra features anyway. Heading back into our modules, you can see we've got things like duplicate menu, index, you notice rollback manager, which is pretty cool if you want to revert to previous versions of any theme or plugin from WordPress, you can do that from here. Again, this is one of those useful things. If you have something that messes something up or this things go wrong when you've updated, you can roll back to a previous version. Pixel Tag Manager, if you're using that. If you don't want to use an SMTP plugin to handle email setup, you can do that directly inside here. Again, there's your configuration options. 
put all the info you want in there, your email test, it'll log everything. Again, does most things for most users where you don't need to then add another plugin in. And like I said, that's the beauty of these kinds of tools. Back into modules, again, you can see we've got more things inside here. Now, some of these are locked behind the pro paywall, so you can see admin columns is a pro feature, the admin customizer, and so on, which I think is fine. You know, every company needs to make money, and there's enough inside here, the free version, to give you a good, solid understanding of how it works. Get a feel for it. If you like it, you may want to upgrade to the pro. Again, link in the description. I've got no comeback on this. There's nothing in it for me. You can also block usernames, which is great if you want to stop anybody from ever using the admin username, which is something that should be removed by default in WordPress anyway, but you can enable that. Custom login URL, again, great for little security tweaks and things like that. And that's kind of what we're doing here. We've kind of gone back to all, but if you want to see security options, this is where you've got things like your block username, disable XML, RPC, those kinds of things. These are all super useful little things to help obfuscate what people can see and what they can find as part of WordPress. I would recommend probably enabling pretty much everything inside you anyway and set up and configure what you need. It just makes life a lot easier and a lot safer. You post in your pages, so if you want to export posts and pages, open all external links in the new tab, which you shouldn't do. Post type switcher, you know, it's all pretty simple, simple and self-explanatory. You want post type order, something that is incredibly useful and again should be included in WordPress by default, but now we can easily just go and drag and drop our posts around we hop into post, for example, we can now move this. You can see we get the little move arrow. Now I can just move this where I want. Slick, simple, clean, and easy, which is exactly what you want. You want to set things up inside a tool like WP Extended and then forget all about it. Images and media, disable video uploads. Really useful if you've got clients that want to upload everything to their database. SVG file uploads, you can enable this if you want to. Then you've got things like media replace, quick image, and so on. Now, these are super useful because if you create content and you want to change an image, you don't want to change that in 50 different locations. This allows you to replace it and replace it in every instance, all super easy. Again, a pro feature, but if you need it, you'll know you need it, and this just makes it super easy to do. Disable and organize, disable your RSS feeds, disable classic edit or switch it back to the classic edit, up to you. You kind of get the idea. It's all pretty simple. Clean your dashboard, streamlines the admin dashboard with hiding unwanted elements for a cleaner interface. Who doesn't want a cleaner interface inside WordPress? Disable blog, pretty useful. If you've got a site that has no use for a blog at all, disable it and comments. Disabling comments is still a bit of a pain in the bum when it comes to working with the native WordPress. So anything that just makes it a one check, job done, gets my tick. Okay, so we've seen a lot of the options inside you and how easy it is. And you can switch between different modules, options, views. You can search for things if you want to. So let's go and take a look now if we enable the pro version. Once you enable the pro version, this does one thing that I really do appreciate. And I think all plugins I wish would do this. The pro version includes everything from the free version. So we don't need the free plugin. I can now get rid of it. I don't need it at all. I wish every pro plugin would do this way. If you put the pro version on, we do not need the free version if there's a free version. Just please. So now if we come back into WP Extended, you can see I've got pro installed and now nothing is locked behind that paywall for me. So now I can use every single function that I want. Pretty cool. So now if I want the admin columns, I can choose that. I can configure it. And now I can choose what I want. So if you've ever used admin columns, or the admin columns pro plugin. This is going to look semi familiar. It's not going to be as powerful as that. But again, this is something that I'm hoping that they will expand upon to give us more functionality. Well, the pro version of admin columns pro has tons of features and lots of things probably most users will never need. There are some things that are missing from the free version I would love to see in a plugin like this. So we get a simplified version, but it gives us what we need. So you can see we can add a new column, we can disable columns, we can choose where we want. So for example, if we come into the post section, I don't really care if I've disabled comments, I don't want comments on here, so I can disable that. I don't use tags, I don't care about the author because I'm the only author. I now get rid of all those, hit save changes, hop over to my post section. I've now got a much more streamlined post section with none of the junk that I have no interest in whatsoever. You know, these are the kinds of little things that just make life a lot easier inside the dashboard. If I want to add something in, I can come in and add a new column. So add new, we can choose what we want. We can select where it is. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff inside here. Again, I would like to see this expand to more options. So this is something that I think really will open up a lot of use cases. And 
I just really hope they do open it up to more things. Again, I don't know what the technical limitations are behind doing stuff like this, but it would be cool to see it. Okay, so there's the admin columns. As you can see, we want the admin customizer. We can enable that. Again, we can configure what we want. So we can adjust things like the logo, the body color, so we can customize the look of this a little bit. Not crazy, but you can customize the login page, for example, the sidebar. Again, I would like to see things like the login page expanded to give us a couple of templates we can choose from. And then we've got, you know, basic things like center with a background image, for example, left hand, right hand, maybe a couple of different options like that. This is very early in this development push, so I'm hoping that we'll see a lot of these. And if you've got any feedback or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I'm sure the guys behind WP Extended and WP Extended Pro will be checking that out once they know this video is up. But that basically is what I wanted to cover. It's not an overview of every single feature because that would take quite some time. I just want to draw some light to this being pushed forward, the new developers behind it, and the real excitement they've got for taking this further and further and further. I'm excited to see where it goes, but what are your thoughts? Let me have those comments in the comment section. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.